Hi everyone, I'm Nick Curtis, the Art Toy Advocate, and I'm ecstatic to introduce you to the first pre-painted production resin figure from the world of Creepy Hill, Bobby. The Bobby figure was first brought to my attention, if I recall correctly, by Chris Riniak and Amanda Louise Spade, who discovered the figures at the 2015 San Diego Comic-Con. The perfectly executed, creepy meets cute aesthetic of these captivated me, immediately resulting in an article I wrote for SpankyStokes.com proclaiming Bobby to be the biggest SDCC release you haven't heard of. Based on the illustrations of full-time artist Cabot Q, her husband, Dominic Quick, 3D sculpted the design in the program ZBrush. A true collaboration in making the sculpture a reality, it's the subtle details packed into this four and a half inch tall form that really make it impressive. Slightly asymmetrical cracking in the skull head, the gentle tampering of the horns, and the realistic folds covering his pudgy body. But an amazing sculpt alone isn't enough, nor is the precision with which these are cast in resin. Each figure is hand painted by a skilled artist, and it absolutely shows. The washes of color on the skull highlight the sculpting without overpowering it, and the lightly flecked body color has a truly real feel about it. And of course, the matte color head contrasts with the juicy gloss of the body in just the right way, with neither one standing out as being different than the other. Bobby is only the first part of a more comprehensive Creepy Hill world. Bobby's backstory shed some light on Creepy Hill, noting that it was a mound with one lone tree that Bobby stumbled upon, calling it home. Himself an outcast who never made many friends, Bobby decided that Creepy Hill would be a place for those like him, where everyone is welcomed. Everyone, including the second Creepy Hill character, Clyde, which was offered as part of the same Kickstarter campaign that made Bobby initially available to the general public. The only downside of this wonderful work would be its small stature as I'd prefer a larger scale version to marvel at all the little details on. But we're told this is a life-size, one-to-one scale representation of Bobby and all the other Creepy Hill creatures. So this is a downside we can accept. Bobby and Clyde are both available now on the Creepy Hill website, creepyhill.com, in painted and unpainted versions. Bobby is also available in an exceedingly limited Red Skull edition, which debuted during the Kickstarter campaign. Thank you for watching me, the art toy advocate, Nick Curtis. Agree with me? Disagree with me? Let me know your thoughts on Cabot Q and Dominic Quick's Bobby by commenting below as well as liking or disliking this video on YouTube. And please remember to subscribe to the CoArt YouTube channel to be kept up to date on my reviews.